What's up everyone, I'm Kellen Montos, and if you enjoyed yesterday's Shadow Riperio video, you're in for a real treat today because we've got an insanely spicy submission from Velocity Time 56 who's running both Raihorn and Raidon together in the Open Great League with Mantine as the lead. This submission also made me realise that the Raihorn family is another viable full family that I could run in the future as Shadow Pokemon, so if this video gets 1000 likes, I will make a video with the trio next season. Now unfortunately I can't do it right now because I've only got one Raihorn Raihorn that has frustration removed as the shadow Pokemon, so that will be something I will work towards next season. But with that being said, let's just get into the question of the day. Which first stage evolution Pokemon would you like to see get a move update next season? Let me know in the comment section down below, and with that being said, let's get into the battles now. Alright, so going into the first battle lead, Mantine into Medicham, so really good lead. We want to see it here up against our team, because both Pokemon in the back are very weak to fighting, and the opponent's going to safe swap into a Licky Tongue. Now, this is a really difficult situation here. We have to swap out eventually. We need to align the Mantine to their Medicham, but this is a bad matchup. If they go straight Power Whip here, it will probably take us out, but they bait with a Body Sam. Huge call there from this trainer. We can now go for a Horn Attack. Unfortunately, this is just not a very good charge move. It doesn't grab a shield, but hopefully it puts them into Muds that farm down range. We do shield the second time. It is the Power Whip. Really good call there. And we do barely get that farm down. Really nice. They come back in with the Medicham now. We're going to go for another Horn Attack. I'm not really sure if it's worth baiting here. The opponent doesn't use their shield. We will make it to another Horn Attack before they do farm us down though. And this should put them into the half health range. Which is quite nice for us. We are going to come back in with the Mantine. Of course we have to. We're going for an Aerial Ace here. And if this is the team I'm thinking it is. Then we should be looking pretty fine here. We just need to make sure the Medicham doesn't survive with too much health here. We are going to go for another... Well, they're going to go for another charge move. We're going to use a shield here. They go for an ice punch and we are going to go for a full wing attack farm down. We don't quite get it. This should just hopefully be another ice punch from this range. It is the ice punch. We get the full farm down and it's a Bastiodon in the back and this is absolutely perfect for the Rhydon. We should be resisting all the charge moves assuming they're not running flash cannon which is quite unlikely. We go for the surf, grab a shield from the opponent there and this is just not going to do too much damage here. The opponent goes for the stone edge. It does about 20% of our health. We're actually going for a breaking swipe BM just for the sake of it. This will not be enough damage to actually, no, it actually does take out the Bastidon from that range and we're able to take that game there. So into the next game, we see Whiskash in the lead. So a good lead for the Mantine. The opponent safe swaps into Shadow Dragonite. This is really tricky for us. We're going straight for an Aerial Ace and the opponent is actually going to let that go through. So we swap into our Rhyhorn and we're kind of going to have to shield this up. If they go for Superpower, it will do a lot of damage. They do, and we do get that Mud Slap farm down. So let's see what the opponent wants to do. They come back in with the Whiskash. We don't quite make it to a Bulldoze before the opponent makes it to a Mud Bomb. So we're actually going for the Horn Attack, and the opponent, because we're running such a random weird Pokemon, they actually shield that Horn Attack. You can see doesn't do much damage whatsoever. They do rightly over farm quite a lot in this matchup, now, though now knowing that it is just a Horn Attack, and they probably will be able to reach a Blizzard on their Whiskash before we can make it to an Aerial Ace, but there's only neutral damage, so if they do full send the Blizzard, which they do, it won't take us out, and we immediately swap into our Rhydon as the opponent comes in with a Skarmory. Now, we're going straight for the Breaking Swipe here, and Breaking Swipe doesn't grab a shield from the opponent there, so good call there. We are going to no shield the first charge move. It is just a sky attack, and if they're running Brave Bird, then we should be pretty fine in this matchup, completely walling their moveset. We're now going to go for a Surf. Surf grabs the shield from the opponent. And a Brave Bird, actually, to be honest, from this range, it probably does take us out. But the opponent's actually running Flash Cannon, so that would have definitely taken us out. They come back in with the Wish Cash here. We're going for Breaking Swipe. We will be able to Mud Snap farm them down, and we should be able to make it to a Surf in time up against the Skarmory. And from this range, Surf will be enough damage to take out the Skarmory, and we're able to take that game. So going into the next game, we see Mantine into Steelix. So probably going to save swap straight away. We do. We swap into our Rhyhorn and the opponent's staying in. They're just going to go for a Breaking Swipe and then probably swap out eventually. But Breaking Swipe does go unshielded. We're going to stay in. Well, we have to stay in. We actually don't commit to the Bulldoze. I'm not sure about this. 
I'm pretty sure we would win CMP up against the Steelix. I might be wrong, Raihan might be incredibly bulky and I just don't know it, but the opponent goes for breaking spot. We grab the shield anyways as the opponent doesn't know the counts or even what charge moves we're probably running, but they have seen the horn attack, so they do correctly. No shield the second one. We're going to come in with the Rhydon here and what we should note is that they didn't swap out, so they might be very weak to the Rhydon here. We're going to let the breaking swipe go through and we are going to see that the opponent's going to come in with... Nine tails, so we swap straight away, clearing the debuff, and they've got a Lolan Sand Slash in the back, and this is looking really good for our Rhydon to be able to sweep this game. We go for the Aerial Ace, unfortunately it is resisted, of course. They're going to be able to wall our energy on the Mantine, but all we really have to do is make sure we don't use any shields on the Mantine, get the Lolan Sand Slash fairly low, and we should be able to sweep with our Rhydon in the back. So here we go for another Aerial Ace before the opponent makes it to the next charge move. That does get them incredibly low, we get them into the Red Hell, so we can just safely let this move go through. Ice Punch takes us out. We come in with the Rhydon. They did bank back-to-back -back charge moves, but it doesn't matter. We've got two shields. We go for the shield there. They come in with their... Uh, Kanto Ninetales, we go for Breaking Swipe and the opponent actually calls it there but that should be fine, we should just be able to fully mud that farming down from this range we do shield up a Weather Ball here, unless they're running Side Shock, we should be fine, I don't think they make it to a Scorching Sands and they are actually running Psy Shock, so they get us incredibly low, but we get the Mudslap farm down anyways, living with 1 HP and a Dream, and we're able to take that game into next game, we see a Lola Ninetales this time around. They are running Powder Snow, so not ideal for us to see. Gonna go for that Aerial Ace pretty much straight away, throwing just before they make it to a potential Dazzling Gleam. And at this point, we've got them fairly low, so we might just let this move go through. We do shield, actually, and it is the Dazzling Gleam, so really good shield usage there. And now we can go for Aerial Ace number two. This will be grabbing a shield from the opponent. We're eventually gonna swap into our Rhydon, and the opponent panics. They swap into Galarian Stunfisk, and this is really good for us. We go for the Surf straight away, dealing big damage there. They need to go for Earthquake to take us out. We're actually going to no shield this, possibly because they do have a loaded Alolan Ninetales in the back. So we let it go down. We come in with the Rhyhorn. We will be able to get that Mud Slap farm down. They're probably going to come back in with the Ninetales here, unless they've got a hard answer. No, nope, they come in with the Cofagrigus, and we should be able to go for a Bulldoze just before they make it to the Shadow Ball. It actually looks like a CMP tie, which shouldn't really be the case there, because I think they had to do uh, seven Shadow Claws, whilst we did five. Mud Slaps, but we're not going to complain. We're going to swap back into the Mantine, go for a charge move just before they make it to theirs, and this Aerial Ace will grab a shield from the opponent. Now, this Shadow Ball is going to do more damage than a Weather Ball, so we do shield it up, but the opponent makes a very nice combo play, coming back in with the Ninetales, going for the Weather Ball. It barely doesn't take us out, but they get the Powder Snow farm down, and that allows them to reach another charge move. Weather Ball takes out the Rhyhorn, and unfortunately, we do lose that game there. But into the next game, we see Sableye in the lead, so a fairly neutral lead matchup. We're going to swap out straight away, actually. When you're running an ABB-style team, you kind of do have to swap, just in case the opponent has a Pokemon like this in the back. Venusaur would absolutely shred through our team if we do let that Mantine go down, so we had to bait it out. We even grab a Shield Advantage once again because the opponent has no idea what Rhyhorn could be running. We're going to shield up the Frenzy Plant here. Unfortunate that they will make it to a second Frenzy Plant. We might even consider double shielding. We do double shield just because because Frenzy Plant is going to do a lot more damage than a Foul Plate from the Sableye. So let's see what the opponent wants to do. They come back in with the Sableye. We go straight for an Airy Lace. And this will do some nice damage to the Sableye. About 40% of their health. We swap into our Rhydon. And the opponent goes for the Charge Reef here. They go for return, which is very strange because that is resisted damage. We make it to the Surf here. We're going for it straight away. And Surf... Grabs the shield from the opponent, but they're going for the Shadow Claw farm down, and that allows us to get them into the red health range. They make it to a charge move. We lose the CMP tie. Ice Punch doesn't do too much damage, though. We need Aerial Ace to take them out from this range, and it does exactly that. And can we make it to the Aerial Ace number two? Yes, we can. Sableye used a return in the previous matchup there, so we're able to outpace them to the charge move, take them out with the Aerial Ace, and take that game. Internet's game, pretty decent lead for us here as we can go for Ice Beam and we will outpace them to the charge room. So we go for the Ice Beam just before they make it to the Sky Attack. Ice Beam nearly one shot, so we even swap and we catch the resisted Sky Attack onto our Rhyhorn. Really nice play. We probably would have had to swap out anyways. And the opponent comes in with Galarian Stunfisk, so this is looking pretty good for our Rhydon in the back. We might even no shield this. No, we do shield. It is the Earthquake, so good call there. We're going to go for three more Mud Slaps, throwing at the best time 
timing possible and this bulldoze is going to grab a shield back from the Galarian Stunfisk. At this point we let the Rhyhorn go down, we can come in with our Rhydon and we should be looking pretty good here. So we come in with the Rhydon and they've got a Lantern in the back now. Surf probably one shots us but we can just safely shield this up, go for a breaking swipe and that will debuff their attack. These sparks really not doing much damage, it's only the Surf that's going to hurt. So we go for the breaking swipe, we're going to go for two more mud saps. we swap, we try to catch the Surf onto our Mantine. Tricky position here as the opponent gets to the charge move but they go for a Surf here and that's perfectly fine. We can make it to an airy lace. I don't think this will quite take them out, it doesn't, but we get the wing attack farm down. We also leave with just one HP, meaning the Stunfisk doesn't get much farm either, and we make it to a Surf before the opponent can make it to an Earthquake, and Surf easily takes out the Stunfisk from that range, and we're able to take that game. Into the next game, pretty good lead matchup for us. The opponent swaps into their Registeel. We come in with the Rhyhorn here, quite interesting. I probably would have come in with the Rhydon just because it is a little bit more consistent to make it to those charge moves. We kind of have to go for the Bulldoze to take them out here, but we will full send it. And the opponent, are they going to respect the damage here? Yes, they do. And they will be able to grab a shield back from us, actually grabbing both shields. But that's fine. I think we will just commit to the full Mud Slap farm down and come out with a ton of loaded energy. So they come in with a Shadow Cradilly. This is not looking too good for us, but we do make it to a Bulldoze before they can get to a charge move. Bulldoze does big damage there, and if they over farm, we make it to a Horn attack. Now, this is resisted damage, but do they know what move we're running? No, they do shield it up. They probably could have just barely hung on there, but we do grab that shield from the opponent. Rockside takes us out. We're going to have to come in with the Mantine. They're probably going to blind throw a Rockside here. But we can at least tank a rock side here on the Mantine and we're going for the wing attack farm down The opponent makes a very nice catch onto their Alolan Marowak But it doesn't really matter We come in with the ride on and the opponent just recognizing there's not a lot they can do and they concede the match Internet's going to see Jellicent in the lead, so pretty good to see it in this lead matchup here. We are going to go for... Whoa, okay, that was a very questionable decision. Oh no, we're going to take a surf here. Surf one shots the ride on. I'm not sure we might... What? Uh, I'm not sure why we made that play. The reason, I mean, I guess is to bait out a potential hard counter to our backline, but this is that potential hard counter. It's a water type Pokemon, so... I really don't know why we made that swap there, but we can go for these aerial aces, spamming them incredibly fast here. We make it to another aerial ace, getting the Jellicent very low, and at this point, we probably can afford to let this next move go through. The opponent goes for a surf there. We swap into our Rhyhorn, and let's see what we can do up against the back line. Unfortunately, it's a Pelipper. There's just nothing we can do here, so we might even just no-shield this. We will wet the ball, nearly one-shots the Rhyhorn as well. We make it to a horn attack just for the sake of it, but this is not going to do much damage. We can see the opponent lets it go through. It's game over. I mean, to be honest, even without that very questionable decision to swap into our Rhydon, we probably would have lost that game very comfortably as well, just because they had two water types there. There was nowhere to go for our Rhydon and Rhyhorn. But into the next battle, we see a Shadow Alone and Sand Slash. We swap, we do actually that move there good call because they've got a meta champ in the back anyway so we wouldn't have been able to flip this matchup and like that we don't go down a shield now we can come in with the mantine the switch clocks are slightly misaligned which might be good for us they go for a psychic here we can over farm in this matchup farming two nearly back-to-back -back aerial aces and we're going for the first one the opponent lets it go through they're going to come in with lantern and we can core break their back line with our ride on but we've got to be very careful about how we play this matchup we have to shield the surf of course we're now going to go for a breaking swipe just before they make it to surf number two. And this breaking swipe will be grabbing a shield from the opponent. The opponent comes back in with their Alolan Sand Slash. We make it to another breaking swipe just before they make it to a charge move. The opponent lets that go through and that should be our win condition now. We can just safely shield this up and we should be able to fully mud slap farm them down from this range. And we are able to get that farm down and we're able to take that game. Into next game, we see Mantine into Shadow Dragonite. So once again, pretty uncomfortable lead. We swap into our Rhyhorn, and the opponent just blindly swaps into Steelix. And that is really good for us. They go for Breaking Swipe straight away here, but we can just go for that Bulldoze. This time we do farm all the way to the Bulldoze, and this probably does grab a shield here. So could have baited, but to be honest, we're probably not making it to another charge move. And at this point, we're just gonna let the Breaking Swipe go through. It doesn't quite take us out, so they do get one extra Dragon Tail, but it doesn't matter. They were making it 
to a breaking swipe anyways. Once again, we're going to let the breaking swipe go through, go for the mud slap farm down, and we come out with a breaking swipe of our own loaded. For whatever reason, the opponent comes in with Bastion on. I am very confused about that play. Honestly, that is a very weird decision by the opponent, but we're going to stay in. Personally, I would over farm in this matchup a lot just in case the opponent does come back in with their Dragonite. We always want a charge move loaded to throw straight away. But here we can just safely shield. The opponent's still not swapping out of this matchup. I have no idea what they're doing. But now we can go for the Breaking Swipe into Dragonite. Remember, we are debuffed from the Breaking Swipe from the Steelix, but it doesn't matter. That still does over half the Dragonite's health. And at this point, we can just shield once and we will be able to fully wing attack, farm down the Shadow Dragonite from this range. And we're able to take that game. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you leave a like, leave a comment letting me know, and as well, don't forget to respond to the question of the day if you haven't done so already. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's video, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.